Alright, what's up guys? So, welcome to another Build Break Garage episode. This one's kind of an update video. Uh, I don't really have anything planned to work on this weekend or anything. Um, I'm actually making this video on the same day I'm editing it, so it'll be out for you on Tuesday. So, this is as updated as it is. The past couple of videos you guys have been watching have been at least one week uh, prior shot. So, now uh, this one is currently shot today. The car is currently in the garage. I took it to the shop last, last weekend. And they diagnosed that my manifold is probably the problem with my airlift system. So I contacted the airlift about it. They want me to take off the manifold and put it in the house for a little bit, get it warmed up, see if maybe moisture is a problem, let it dry out, and try plugging it in and seeing if it works again. But I did some updates to the engine bay as well that I didn't document on tape. I got a new turbo uh, blanket because the heat shield from the Grand National was, the heat shield from the Grand National at about 3000 RPM had this resonance vibrate that just, it just was the loudest. I mean, you could, you could hear it over the exhaust, which this exhaust is really loud. So it was really annoying. Like doing 50 in fourth gear was just right at that perfect point where it was just vibrating like crazy. But since I got rid of the heat shield, I also I needed to be able to control the heat since the turbo is so close to the hood. So in addition to the turbo blanket, I also got the uh, DEI gold wrap for the hood. And oh my God, like this is it's the craziest thing. The turbo sits this close to the hood and I can beat the hell out of the car, run it just ragged and get out of the car immediately and go put my hand right over top of where the turbo is. And I don't even feel heat. Like it is crazy how well that stuff works. So. If you're in the market for some heat shielding stuff, definitely, definitely get the DEI Gold Wrap. I highly recommend it. But anyway, that's pretty much where I'm going to leave it. Uh, so, uh, update on uh, the pathway that the channel is going to start going. I know, like, the videos have all been basically in the garage, which it's basically it's winter time. So, once the weather starts breaking, uh, we got a couple shows that are lined up that we were scheduled to go attend and out of out of state actually show. We're going to go to Import Face Off, Ohio and possibly Chicago, depending on how uh, the Ohio trip goes. I plan on hitting every show locally that I possibly can. I'm going to try to take you guys along with me for every single one of those. So definitely be sure to subscribe and stay tuned because uh, once this weather breaks, we're going to start driving this car a whole bunch and taking it to do a whole bunch of fun stuff. So the boring stuff is almost over, I promise. But uh, yeah, so uh, like I said, that uh, is pretty much going to wrap it up for today. Very short video, I know, but uh, at least uh, I had put up something and kind of give you guys an update of what's going on around here. I do have a video that's coming up that I'll probably released next week since I don't really plan on working on anything this weekend as well. I actually have a video that I found of Joey removing his 240s fuel pump to install the dual pump system over the summer. I made a quick little video about that, so... That'll probably drop next week, so uh, be on the lookout for that one. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll be seeing you later. Peace.